Hi and welcome. My name is Daniro, and I welcome you back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Um, <laughs> I always love it when Crash times his poses when I do my intros. And yeah, in the last episode, we completed World 2, and there were only three gems that I missed so far. And yeah, boom, let's defeat the boss, Dingo Dial. Which is probably the coolest boss in all of the Crash Bandicoot games. Really excited to hear the music. Now you've gone and done it. Them crystals are mine. Come on. Oh, I love this music. <laughs> Break out the butter. I'm gonna make toast. I never thought he was like this cheesy in the english version in the german version he says something like come here i'm gonna roast you bring out the butter gonna make toast i mean what <laughs> yeah this guy's shooting with his flamethrower at us which i can dodge like there's no tomorrow so yeah we have to make him destroy those things around him so that we can reach him and then he goes boom Oh, I love this music. But yeah, this is also really easy. Like every single boss in this game. <laughs> kind of want to listen to this music. What? What is he doing? He's calculating to where I'm gonna move. <laughs> what? Still, I expected this one phase where he's shooting up to go a little bit longer, but yeah. Shot like for two seconds and it was gone. And boom. Yeah, Penta, give him. And we got a new ability double jump yeah i don't have to explain that we press jump we press x two times and we double jump classic platformer move and yeah that was the boss that was pretty easy like i said and yeah on to world number three this game is going best going past so far am i right what do we have here dynamite and there are two gems here and we see our next boss haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials i am dr nefarious trophy master of time and the creator of the very time twister machine you see before you Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little shroud. So you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. I totally do that. Well in the yellow gem, alright. Okay, hopefully this dino level doesn't go down as bad as the other one. Oh yeah, I have double jump. I forgot. I can reach that. I wanted to make sure that I can reach it by. Is that a crash bandicoot fish? Crash! Wow. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't saw that there was lava. I thought it was just the ground. <laughs> what is wrong with me? And yeah, that's what I meant with like the first part or something when i said the game is just gonna go easier gonna get easier with each boss that we defeat all right there's the yellow gem path so yeah after each boss we get something really neat 
that will help us go through the levels and dino what's the name of this this dino i don't know every like the penguin had a name called penta polar the polar bear it's called polar the tiger is called pura but what is this dinosaur called i don't know ah they do still jump out okay and yeah after each boss we get some really cool move and the further we go into this game the easier it becomes to deal with some things so yeah i mean i don't have to tell you how useful double jump is gonna get over the course of the game uh, i think i can do that wait there was something up there i wasn't there I thought there was something up there i saw something no okay Excuse me. We have twenty seven lives. <laughs> I I mean Boom. Okay, you cannot jump at the very last moment in your jump. Also, you cannot do a belly flop. If you do a double jump, and you also can't do a belly jump, a belly flop. If you, if you like, at the end of the jump. Oh yeah, and they're gonna tell you what to do. And yeah, I wanna do that, right? No, because if you do a belly flop near crate. The shockwave just destroys them. This can also be abused a little bit in this game. But so far, I don't think I needed that. Alright, dinosaur chase. Because why not? What? <laughs> yeah, hopefully this will be not as bad. Yeah, okay. This dinosaur is called the Triceratops. Ah! Just when I was trying to fill you in with some knowledge. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh. some reason sometimes when i walk down it just s stops crash and i'm not making that up that seemed to happen like this happened in crash bandicoot one and two as well i don't know i don't i think my control is a little bit broken see he was like ah he was he was just stopping like for a second and i don't know why oh really yeah i don't remember those chase levels being this hard like maybe like i don't see maybe i should see some of those things a little bit earlier maybe they made it a little bit eh. maybe they made that a little bit too close oh i cannot get all the things i don't know maybe it's a resolution of this game i don't know maybe i'm just bad <laughs> that could also be a, <laughs> a reason 
And yeah, another gem that I couldn't get. Uh, not like that. Um, there's the red gem. I would like to get that red gem. Deep trouble. Backtrack to find the special gem. Okay. And I thought they didn't add things like that in this game. Apparently they did. Okay, now my question is, where do I have to back travel to? Okay. Why do I need to back travel here? Oh, wait. No! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, why did it... Oh. That's why you don't destroy stuff once you get out of it. Why is he destroying stuff once he gets... Why is he destroying this thing if he gets out? That's really stupid. Okay, let me get that. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> that was stupid. Oh god, I almost died. Because I spinned into that thing. Okay, where do I have to backtrack to? God. Shark. Checkpoint. They didn't have those tips back in the day, so yeah. It's, it's kind of neat that they give you like some kind of information or hidden what to do with some of those secret thingies so where do i have to back to What do I have to do here? Okay, I have to activate a crate somewhere and then go back here. Is that it? Okay. There's a checkpoint here, so really okay. My question first, let me go full year. I don't think I'm gonna need that to backtrack. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, let me just. I have the feeling I need to destroy those things. Okay. Pretty sure those things kill me. Thank you. I don't understand why they kill me. You know, they just blow like air or something. 
Jesus. <laughs> really? I probably want to destroy everything with this thing, so yeah. Probably want to destroy all the nitro crates. No. Okay. How? What? No, don't go back there. All right, this is going to be a pain, but let's try it. It's not that far away, so yeah. I mean, please don't let me die. That's all I'm asking for. Okay. Okay. Now, what do we have here? This. And there's a checkpoint down there. I saw it. Okay. Maybe I get the clear gem too. Oh, I thought thought he was small again. What? Eh. Can see myself. Oh, hey. Aww. It doesn't make it easier that the control of the underwater areas is not as good. Aww. I did not swim into that direction. Thank you. Like, I'm not moving right now. Look at that. I also wasn't turning around. Oh, come on! Why couldn't I hit you? Oh. Ah, uh, so annoying. Now you get back here. Thank you. Oh God, why did I do that? Okay, clear gem. Red gem. Exit. Okay, good. We got everything here. Which is good because this level was pretty annoying. Crystal. Clear gem. Red gem. You see that? <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Okay, which level was this? The second, right? Yeah. High time, and there are two. <laughs> Again. So, you pesky 
you little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just to no. continue to gather crystals and see what I do. Yep. Special game lies at the end of the death row. I'm not supposed to die. Okay, that's nice. Okay, those are ninjas. They always look like like women, like like Muslim women with like those their face uh hidden. Like Muslims, Muslims. Right? So yeah. Hey they either change that or the graphics really looked like the head back then. <laughs> okay didn't die yet but i'm not sure if i can defeat those things i can and that's the death route gone yeah but i don't I kind of want to do that right now, but yeah. Now I died, so yeah. That kind of sucks. It's probably around here, right? Watch. No, it isn't. It's probably really close. I think I saw it in the background. Maybe. Uh, 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 uh. Well, we have a lot of time to do all those things. I would like to get this done in under ten parts, just like the others, where I somehow managed to get both of the other Crash Bandicoots down after. Oh, come on. Like somehow managed to get all the crash bandicoots completed in ten parts. Both of them. And I would like to keep that record in this project as well. Okay. Oh, I kind of don't want to risk that. All right. Hopefully we can still get a clear gem in this part. That would be nice. Oh God. Because deaths in bonus levels, they don't count, I think. So even if I would have died there, yeah, that's where the death part is, of course. Kind of want to complete that in this part. No, I cannot restart the... Uh, The level that is kind of kind of a bad oh really maybe if i can keep aku aku i will be able to get through this part god Double jump makes some situations pretty easy, <laughs> like this one. Ok, 
Careful, there's TNT. Careful, buddy. <laughs> oh, we got the clear gem. So I guess even if I would have done the death route, I wouldn't have got the clear gem. God. <laughs> Alright, I say we go and do this real quick again. Try this real quick again. And then we can end spot. So let's just go in there. No time for dancing. Yeah, let's just do this. I want to show the deaf part, so yeah. Crash. Coco. If you have already retrieved a levels crystal, then you will find a floating clock when you enter for the second time. This floating clock activates time trial mode. Grab it and the clock will start ticking. Race for the end to get the best time. But be I don't want to do that. Some elements will change. I don't want to do that. Okay, I should still have aqua coal. So let's, let's go and reach the death path without dying. All right is okay mm, shouldn't be that hard just skillfully avoid every danger like like you're supposed to and yeah I only died oh really <laughs> Uh, die get hit by that stupid ape okay you were the one who hit me thank you oh you were the one I don't know I should reach the death path like come on checkpoint over there got and then we should be fine I think it's just over there right yeah you got aqua aqua let's do this not a scratch give it time <laughs> All right. What horrors, horrors await us here? God. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> see that? Oh, God, really? <laughs> okay, where's my shadow? There, <laughs> wanted to make absolutely sure. And there's a gem. Okay, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Boom. Got the purple gem. Easy peasy breezy. That was actually not that hard. That was actually not really hard. So yeah. Boom. Now it's time for dancing. And I would say that's it for this part. 28%, alright. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this part. Please consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribe. And then I see you in the next part again. Bye bye.